This is the Thetford Porta Potty 565 Cam Toilet. It's about as luxurious as they get when it comes to portable toilets. Let's check it out. Hit it. Hey guys, Ben from Snowy's here. Today with the Thetford Porta Potty 565 Portable Toilet. This is the luxurious one in their range. It's much taller. It's got a few extra fancy features and you can see how much bigger it is than the smaller ones in the series here. So you've got a much taller seat height. Now it measures 44.8 in height to the top here. It's 38.8 in width and about 45 centimeters in depth. And the seat height inside is about 44.3 centimeters to this top section here. Now there's two different toilets in the 565 series. There's the 565E and the 565P. This is the 565E here because it has an electric pump here. So it's a push button pump. It's got batteries that go in there. I'll show you about that shortly. Press that and the toilet flushes. Now there is the another toilet looks exactly the same. The only difference is this pump here and it has the same pump as this smaller version one here, here which is a piston pump. So you've got to physically pump it up and down to get the same uh, flush action inside. Other than that, the features are all the same in the toilet. So we're going to put this one aside and we'll run through all the features of this guy here. So having a look around the outside here, the top section here is a, a 15 litre flush water or rinse water tank on top of a 21 litre wastewater tank on the bottom here. Now the wastewater tank's got a little level indicator here, so when that's full, that flicks over to red so you know it's time to empty it. Bit of a grab handle at the front here, which teams up with one at the back as well, make it easier to carry around. If we flick around to the side here, it's got a cool little feature, which is a toilet roll holder on the side here. So we can use um, any, any toilet roll, uh, it just pops in here, this flexes out. You can put your toilet roll in here and it tucks away in the side of the toilet there. On the back here, more carry handles, um, both for carrying it when it's all together, but also for carrying um, this when, the, when you're emptying the, the wastewater tank, you've got a carry handle there. This is the lever that is used to remove the top section. One of the lever on this side here I didn't show you was this one here, which opens up the valve inside when you go to use it. I'll show you more on that shortly. And then nothing on this side here. If we move around to the top of the toilet here, before we open the lid, we come to the back here, we flick this little tab up here. We've now got access to the flush button here, so we can flush it once the lid's closed. In the middle here, we've got a little uh, level indicator for the rinse water tank. So it's blue and red. Obviously when it's red, it's empty. When it's blue, it's full. And this is the side we use to fill the rinse water tank. We can get the water in there. To fill it, we use some accessories that came with the toilet. If we open it up here, inside is a little bag here. Uh, I haven't taken these out yet, but this is a little funnel that you can use to put in here to help fill so you don't splash water everywhere. Once that's full, you use this little white cap here to seal that up so the water doesn't um, splash around everywhere. This cap here actually seals the spout on the wastewater tank that I'll show you shortly. And then you get batteries included with the toilet here, which go um, in the electric pump here. Now to remove this, we give it a bit of a twist, uh, just a small twist, and that will then come out. Space in there for the six batteries, put that back in place, and that will then operate the flush feature on the toilet. And looking uh, at the top of the toilet here, this seat here also folds up, makes for easy cleaning, and that also um, shows a little jet here, which is where the, the rinse water sort of shoots out in around the bowl here to flush everything down. Now to use the toilet, first thing you'd wanna do to set it up at least is put your rinse water and fill the top tank up here. Um, that will then, uh, that, that rinse A that you put in there helps keep, keep the bowl clean. And then in the bottom tank, you wanna put some wastewater additive in there, which helps all the waste to break down. When it comes time to do your business, I'm not gonna demonstrate this literally, but the first thing you do is the lever on the side, we pull that forward, which opens up this valve inside here and allows the, the waste to go down into the wastewater tank at the bottom. Sit down, do what you need to do. Once you're done, flush the toilet, press this, you can close the lid if you like before you do that. Flush this, everything flushes down. Close this up and that then seals all the bad smells and things in the bottom tank of this toilet here. You can close the lid down when you're done. While that's closed, you can still see the little level indicator for the wastewater, uh, the rinse water tank here. But once this um, little indicator down here goes red, it indicates that you need to empty the wastewater tank. Now to do that, we spin it around to the back of the toilet here. We pull this lever here, which releases the top section that comes off. We can put this aside, give it a clean if we like. We've now got our waste all sealed up inside here. 
This lever here does the same thing as the lever on the side of the top section did. This gray lever on the side here, in that if we spin that, we can open up the seal here. You won't need to do that to empty it though. What we need to worry about when emptying it is this spout here, of which before you've used it, you would have grabbed this big cap, uh, cap here and put that over the top. You need that there because it's sealing all the bad smells inside here. And you use that in conjunction with this little bleeder valve here. So you go to empty this at a sullage point or in a toilet, don't ever empty it into a septic system because the materials you use inside here aren't good for septic. We turn this around, you tip this up as such, you hold down on the little bleeder valve, the white button here, which allows air to come in here to minimize the amount of glugging you get in here. You'll take the cap off as, as we've done here and you'll empty this into the toilet or sullage point until the container is empty. Put a little bit of extra water in there, give it a bit of a swirl, rinse it out, empty the last bit out and you're good to go. You then put the cap, this white cap, back on here, fold it over and you're good to put the top back on again. Now the top just seals with this little lip here, catches on the front there, so we put that on first, lean it forward and then push down at the back so that this catch pops into place. Now empty the toilet weighs about five kilos, depending on which pump you get, 4.9 or five kilos. But when it's full, obviously you've got an extra sort of 35 liters of water in there, so it can get pretty heavy. So you do wanna make sure you've got a decent bag to carry it in order to transport it in. And Blacksmith Camping Supplies have made one specifically for this. This is their extra large toilet bag. So if you put this inside one of these guys, it's going to um, store really well in the back of your car. You should never get leaks with one of these because they're pretty well sealed on the bottom, but these have got a PVC base on them. We put that in there. If there should happen to be any leaks, it's gonna catch in the PVC base at the bottom there. Put this over the top. Fits nice and easily, plenty of room in there. Seal it up and it's a great way to transport your toilet. Also seals any, should you get any smells, which you shouldn't, they're sealed, but should there be any slight odors about it, that contains it within the bag. That is the Thetford Porta Potty 565 series. It's a, a luxurious toilet for those who uh, don't like digging holes or using uh, tr traditional style bucket toilets or, um, or maybe the, the long drops that you find in the campsite. You can grab these online at snowies.com to aid our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, though, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel, we'll send you all of our latest information or check out some other Thetford Porta Potties like these ones down here.